I'm going to show you how to turn this. into this for under twenty dollars. To do this you'll need aluminum cleaner, some quadruple lot steel wool, some aluminum polish, and heavy duty towels. This only works on aluminum, magnesium, and some stainless steels. First you need to spray the soap onto the aluminum and then start polishing it with the steel wool. Careful not to get on any plastics or anything because it'll buff the labels off. Continue to do that until you think the surface is completely smooth. It will look matted once you're done, but the idea is to take out any molding and machining marks um, from factory because this wasn't originally meant to be polished. And it can also remove that brush look if you don't want it. Next you'll want to use a clean cloth add some polish to it, it's in the shade because it likes to melt temperatures above 85 degrees or in direct sunlight. And then apply polish without buffing it in yet to all the aluminum. Use a different piece of steel wool, that's for the polish only, and then lightly buff the entire piece of aluminum until you think it's perfectly smooth. Once that's done, go ahead and buff the excess polish off and then we'll start the final polishing phase. And next, we will be polishing three times according to the instructions on your product. For this one, you buff it on, buff it off. And then after that, yeah do an extra buff to make sure you get everything off. Most metal polishes will turn black when the active ingredient uh, touches the metal. Continue to buff until all the white is gone pretty much. And that's also how you know that it's either aluminum, steel, magnesium, and not chrome because this will not work on chrome. As you can see on the parking brake that's the only chrome plated part. And there you have it. Just save yourself a bunch of time and money from either getting the factory part chrome plated or ordering a custom part in. Especially if you're like me and you like that factory look, but you just want it to be a little bit better. And even this part, which was drug across the pavement, is also shiny again. Of course, for parts like an aluminum engine block, as you can see back here, it was sand casted. So that takes a lot of sanding to get it flat. And I don't remember the grit, but I pretty much just used the finest grit that you could find. And then you do the previous technique on top of that. And here's a good example of what it can do to stainless steel. I didn't really get a good, good before picture, but you can kind of see on the side it's still a little matted. It wouldn't polish for some reason. The top's a complete gloss because this part wasn't originally made to be seen because uh, there was a plastic cover over all of this. So. I'm just slowly polishing any exposed aluminum. This is truck bed liner, by the way. And I'll move on to the transmission. Polish that. And now all I need to do is wash it.